Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live again. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believeth thou this. Man that is born of a woman. Both in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth. Or even thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Our scripture readings will come Old Testament by Pastor Paul Mitchell, New Testament by Prophet Robert, Robbie Riley, and then our prayer by the Reverend Evelyn Sanders. God bless you. Starting at 13. They were there brought unto him the little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray for them. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children, forbid them not. Come unto me. For such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and departed hence. And the whole one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is the sympathy and condolences to the Thomas McKinney family. I want to thank Ms. April Thomas and Ms. Sharon Thomas for this humble, humble privilege to share with the United States celebrating baby Camille Covenant McKinney. Our beautiful child. So at this time, first we have a tribute uh, coming, Jasmine Smith, one of Camille's first cousins, and you are welcome to take the podium. For the heaven is you brought. I love you, brother. I love you, mom. And to... Cupcake brother, you don't know me, and I love you also. So that I won't have to get up again, they'll go in this order from now on. Carlos Chavez, Jr., activist, community organizer. He's coming as I share the other names. Mr. Ed Fields from the Mayor's Office, City Advisor and Chief Strategist for the City of Birmingham. And then there's a Stephen Long, uh, Camille's uncle. First off, I would like to send my condolences uh, to both families of Cupcake. But I'd like to take a moment to first read a poem that was asked to read on behalf of, uh, in, in memory of Miss Alicia McPhail and Camille McKinney. And it was written with the blessings of their families. No one will drown in the weight of the tears they cry. You're all around. Let this song be your lullaby. Little bird on my shoulder, little warm when it's colder. Though you may not get older, you will grow. Little eyes looking over, little smile if you know her. Little love, I can hold her when I go. And the poem came from Melanie Oslo of Norway. For this family, this baby is gone, but this baby is gone forever. Cupcake put something special in the entire city of Birmingham and the entire nation. And we won't ever forget it. Say her name. Say her name. Say her name. And we should never forget that name in our lives. Say it. To Pastor Wilson, to the distinguished guests here in the pulpit, 
to Abel and Dominique, to Omari, and all members of the family and friends of Cuphead. I'm here to offer you for coming, and his heart is with you all. Our mayor said it best that we are all in the world right now that are, are with you, Abel and Dominique. Those five words, we are all Camille's family. It's represented by the outpouring of love and support from the city and the country. Let's just say that this cupcake has sweetened the hearts and the tongues of the nation at a time when we need it most. Thank you. Thank you to the family. The mayor has also provided a proclamation at the family's desk that we could present to them at another time. But know that that proclamation is fully representative of the sentiments of our entire city. And I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge a particular group of Birmingham Police Department professionals who have been committed day in and day night to not give up and not quit alongside those volunteers and those intercessors and those prayer warriors, many of which are represented right here today. Thank you for not giving up on her, and we will not relent in pursuit of justice for Camille. I want to leave you. Uh, I guess I'll be consistent with everyone else that has touched this pulpit and I'll offer some words from a poet, Khalil Gibran, about children. This is for all of us. He said, your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the, in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your wildest dreams. You may strive to be like them, but make them not like you. For life goes not backward, nor tears with yesterday. You are the bows from which your children as living arrows are sent forth. The archer sees the mark upon the heart, excuse me. The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite, and he bends you with his might that his arrows might go swift and far. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness, for even he loves the arrow that flies, so he loves also the bow that is stable. Our little arrow is flown. Let us be stable. Let us be at peace. God bless you. If either of you need to ever talk, I'm a phone call away, and we can conversate. I don't have a poem, but I just want everybody to take the time out to remember Cupcake for us. That soft-spoken voice, mm -hmm. she has good memories. And my favorite memory is her. Up the speed, up the speed, Mari. <laughs> want you to get on Mari. But if you go and mess with Mari without it running through her, she was right over there with him like Big Brother was wrong. And I want all y'all to know, the city, the state, the world, I really appreciate y'all spending the rest why she died I ain't got no help but that's all right we serve a God that deal with numbers not cards but numbers 
watch this. Can I just tell her story? Uh, I can't tell it like y'all, but I'm going to tell it like I know it. But I want you to see Ka Camille Cupcake uh, McKinney's story. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this now. Watch this. If you look at she lived for three years. Three is the number of perfection. Oh, God. Oh. Now, if you look at Camille's name, I don't know if anybody took time to look at it, but when you look at Camille's name, I want you to break her name down. K A M I L L E. That's seven letters. Seven is the number of completion. Come here. Come here. Come here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When you look at Cupcake, see. U P C A K E. That's seven levels. Seven is the number of completion. Wait a minute, come here. When you look at her last name, McKinney, M C K I N N E Y. That's eight. Eight is the number of new beginning. Jonathan, cupcake, and you said it best, sir. 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 When I heard what you said, you said cupcake is all right. And I declare she is. Yes, sir. You said cupcake was an angel. Mm -hmm. And I declare she was. Why did it take 10 days? Why did it take 10? Why did it take 10? They couldn't find her on five. They couldn't find her on six. It had to be 10. Because 10 is the number of government and order. All right now. If you watch what Crime Stopper said, if you watch what the FBI said, they said this murder, this kidnapping, making us look at how we look for folks. She brought order to the government.
these white doves, which represents the Holy Spirit, peace, love, and hope that one day we will join our loved ones in paradise. As they circle above us, they await their loved ones to join them. It also represents the angels coming down from heaven to carry with little stuff to heaven. This dove that you're holding is here to represent the spirit of Camille Chuck Taylor. You may now release her spirit and clean that to be symbolic of the departed spirit making its final journey home. When you get ready, we're going to turn it loose and say goodbye.